Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, just thought I'd give you a little update on how I spent the better part of my afternoon with uh, all the folks down at the one of three cannabis locations downtown Montreal with my sign and uh, spoke to a lot of people had a lot of interest sparked a lot of conversation about my sign and what exactly it was that I meant by saying stating that legalization of cannabis is a hoax in that the intent behind it as always is not honest it's dishonest but I got interviewed by uh, a feller from CTV that in my naivete at the time I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to make the news. But a combination of, I feel, I didn't present myself very well. Um, my, my thoughts weren't very clear. I, I guess I was under pressure of being in front of a camera and other people watching. But I thought I'd share with you anyways what um, what I said to him and um, how that whole thing went down. Let me just cue it up right here. And we'll do a little bit of this just so there's some visuals to go with it. Hopefully it works. So... Let's take a listen. Like I said, I could have done a better job, and uh, I don't feel like editing it or chopping it up to try to make myself look better than what it actually was. But I think the message was still relayed. So let's do this. Excuse me, it was actually 405. And how I know this is because one of the French journalists that was around, he told me he actually counted. So, correction, 405. I didn't mean any disrespect by it. You just gotta say it too. It is the time. You never know who you're gonna offend. Que je fume du pot, j'ai arrêté de fumer du pot hier. Hier, j'ai fumé mon dernier joint hier. Tu comprends? Yeah, tu comprends vraiment? Wayne focuses. That's uh, Rob Laurie, I believe is his name. We'll get a we'll get a little video after. I'll, I'll post the actual CTV uh, news story that uh, came out this afternoon at six. So let's take a listen to how uh, I basically uh, didn't do such a good job, but what else? Charlie. Charlie what? Charlie Canoe. Uh, uh, canoe like the boat? Like the boat, little boat. C-A-N-N-E-U. Okay, so Charlie, what's the sign all about? Well, why, why do you say uh, legalization is a hoax? Okay, so we know what the word hoax means, right? Not that it's not real, because it's very real. But the intent behind it is a hoax. How so? How so? Because the people who are 
telling us about this or are releasing this, well, let's just say they have a less than questionable history of uh, being truthful. We'll leave it at that. Are you talking about the government or the corporations who control legal weed? Is there a difference? Yes, there is a difference. Okay. In fact, literally, there is a difference. One is the government, one is a corporation. Okay. So, who's, who's hoaxing you? <laughs> hoaxing me? Well, who's hoaxing us? Who's, who's behind this hoax? Well, we don't know yet. The, 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 the times will tell. But the other word here, which is important, is PSYOP. You know what that word means? No. Psychological operation conducted on the masses with a agenda behind it what is the hey, at least i taught rob laurie what a psyop is <laughs> what the word psyop means Gender? well we'll find out soon enough we'll see how it goes well what's your big worry about this i'm not concerned at all well what what okay so uh, I'm just still... just just being on the other side of the fence you know as, as an avid weed smoker myself i decided to quit yesterday in protest of the legalization hoax. So now legalization, we're not talking about decriminalization, we're talking about the legalization of it. Okay, so what is the intent behind that? People say, oh, they're going to now be able to, you know, charge taxes and make money off of it and all that stuff. Okay, okay, so it's really just about the money. This is why it is a hoax. What would make that it wouldn't be a hoax? Pardon? What, how would it not be a hoax? Well, if it was just decriminalized. How can the government or the corporate entities behind the government control a plant from the earth that is, in fact, the true medicine? We know, can, we know weed cures cancer. Not weed, excuse me. Ma cannabis. That one is the legal name. Cannabis is the actual name, right? So, okay, so yeah, you fun. just don't trust governments when it comes to, to regulating this stuff. So this is about reg regulation. Well, I, I don't know. Is I'm, that what this I'm, is about? I'm, I'm having a hard time following you. I'm okay. to, to decipher what, you know. You see, at least I'm honest, right? I didn't do a very good job at uh, conveying whatever message it was. I think I just wanted to... Uh, spark up some some eyes and <sighs> you know why you why would you quit smoking pot if you enjoyed it before because i don't give my money to liars and thieves and criminals period end of sentence all right and you believe the government and these corporations are liars well they have a proven track record of being deceivers all right perfect thank you mm. my pleasure appreciate it but right? well, it's more than that, madame. You know it's more than that. Think about the population of young people that are going to be sucked into this, zooked out of their mind. Yeah. Of course. Of course. A lot of pot smokers, I got my cup of tea, mm -hmm. but you're right about the people that are alive. Of course, it's so good. The government just wants to make some money. And control people, ultimately, because they're going to get a whole generation of people to see. They did that with me. I am. I am. I am, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're not wrong. And the day I decide I'm done with smoking cigarettes, that will be the day I live a glorious life. But till that day, I enjoy it. I like it. It helps calm the nerves, whatever, whatever. You know? Here's what they do. And that's one of the hardest ones to quit, right? I tried. We've all tried. But no, I get your point. And yeah. It is a I see you soon. Mm. You get those moments where <laughs> listening back to what you said, you're just like, what? <laughs> Anyways, no shame, no, uh, no embarrassment. It was what it was. A lot of fun. I spoke to a lot of people and uh, about an hour or so of audio footage and different conversations that I had with different people pertaining to this. Very interesting stuff. So I'll throw the, um, I'm going to throw the, the CTV news. 
gonna throw the CTV news footage of it in here with this video at the end, just so you can see the official story. And duh, hello, what? You actually thought they were gonna put your sign stating that legalization is a psyop and a hoax on CTV news? Wow. I was, and I guess still am, quite naive in thinking that it's so easy. But maybe what this did show me is how selective everything that we are shown on the, main, on the, on the news really is, right? Why would they put anything in there that does not correlate their narrative, right? So anyways, let's check out the CTV uh, news article. And uh, that's it for me. So thanks. Yes. <sighs> I am a bobo. But it's okay. I learned something and I had a good time. Ta-ta. <laughs> you better believe enough people took pictures of it. So I, I probably will see it pop up somewhere. Keep my ear to the ground, keep my finger on the pulse, so, okay, thanks. CTV News with Mitsumi Takahashi. Good evening, the eyes of the world were on Canada today. We are now the first industrialized country to legalize marijuana. Hmm. And across Canada, people lined up before dawn waiting hours to be part of history. Montrealers were no exception. Rob Lurie reports. Lineups this long are usually for a new iPhone or a Boxing Day sale, but this is for legal pot. I'm just here to like be part of history, you know? I've smoked weed for a long time, and uh, having it legalized, having it be more reputable, it's a funny, I, I just want to see what it's going to look like. Hugo Senecal was the first in line. I've been here since 3.45 this morning. Just after 10 a.m., he came out of the store showing off the first marijuana to be sold legally in Montreal. Weed! Legal weed! His purchases, 15 grams of different strains for a total of $130 paid for with a debit card. He smoked his first ever legal joint in public. It tastes amazing after we for like six hour outside. It's a big day in Canada, so it's a, it's a really big day. For a stoner like me, it's, it's, it's a big thing. And it's a big thing for much of the world. Journalists from France, Mexico, and the U.S. were all on hand to watch Canada become the first G7 nation to allow a nationwide marijuana market. You're a neighbor to the north, and marijuana is a huge issue right now in the U.S. You have nine states that have legalized it for recreational use. Dozens of others for medical use. It's a big topic. It's going to be on the ballot in November. You have the state of New York currently debating it. The hope for many is that legal weed will be a cash cow for Canada and Quebec. There's going to be plenty of surplus money. Fix the roads, hospitals, schools. Hmm. They also say they'll be able to trust this weed more than the stuff they've been buying illegally up until now. This is a better way in the sense that it's going to be biologic. Also, then we can choose where it comes from. We're sure it's not full of pesticide. Still, most people told us they don't think their usual dealers will be out of business anytime soon. I think they'll just have lower prices and people want to go towards the lower prices. In spite of a strong opening day, there are still some people who aren't so high on legal pot. One of the biggest problems we're having right now is not enough education out there to teach people how to consume, what type of strains to consume. The CAQ government is already planning to make it illegal to smoke joints in public and wants to raise the age for smoking to 21 from 18. So for some young smokers, the party celebrating the end of prohibition may be short-lived. Rob Lurie, CTV News. <laughs> Also today from Ottawa, an announcement about of course pardons it didn't make it. They'll be granted to Canadians who have past convictions for simple possession. Ready for this? Oh, and it keeps going. That line goes on. Everybody.
yeah, I think I'm done for today. I think so, man. Yeah, I think so. This was fun. Shed some perspective. Exactly. Why not?